Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Try to breathe peacefully. This is a season where everyone's talking about peace, and we all know that real peace has to come from within. You're not going to get it from the signs or the songs. You have to look inside the mind. Where are you going to find peace in the mind if the mind is in a turmoil? We start with something simple like this, like the breath. Breathe in a peaceful way, a way that feels nourishing, a way that feels good deep down inside. And that reminds you that you can find happiness inside. The reason there's so little peace in the world is people grab onto the idea that they have to look for happiness outside, it has to come from things that other people do or say or come from things outside. And there's not enough for our desires. As the Buddha once said, if it, even if it rained gold coins, we wouldn't have enough for our, everybody's sensual desires. And so that's simply the, the way that leads to more turmoil. No matter how fair the society, no matter how things are rearranged in the society, it's still not enough unless people learn how to look inside for their happiness. And you start with something simple like this, something like the breath. Nobody's going to try to take your breath away from you. You don't have to take anybody else's breath away from them. You've got your breath right here. So it's a source of happiness that doesn't involve any conflict. And it's simply a matter of learning how to cultivate this source. If you don't really look at after the breath, it just comes in and goes out and keeps you alive, and that's about it. But if you give it your full attention, it'll begin to blossom. It's like the sun shining on a flower. The flower opens up. In the same way, when you give your attention to the breath, the breath opens up. And you begin to see that this energy in the body that brings the air in and pushes it out, it's related to energy throughout the body, throughout your nervous system. And if you pay careful attention to it, you can find ways of breathing that are nourishing for the whole body, all the way out to every pore of the skin. So look into that. We have the potential for happiness here, but we don't really develop it. We go looking for happiness from other people. It's like having your own piece of land, but you don't cultivate it. You go and you go planting seeds in other people's land. And of course, that's going to give rise to turmoil. If you look after what you've got right here and really take care of it, then, then it'll grow the crops you need. It'll provide the happiness you want. So it's simply a matter of settling down and paying careful attention. This quality of what the Buddha called appropriate attention is what makes all the difference between whether we're going to be happy or whether we're going to suffer. If you pay appropriate attention to what you've got right here, learning to look for the resources you have here, how they can be developed, what things the mind does that gives rise to stress, you let go. Any things the mind does that can get rid of stress, you try to develop those things, those qualities of mind. And bit by bit by bit, you find the things settle down inside. And this is how we find peace. If everybody could do this, and everybody can do it, everybody's got a breath. There wouldn't be any need for newspapers in the world or for news programs. Because everybody would be finding happiness inside. We could live together in peace without laying claims to things that other people would also like to lay claims to. So start right here. You can't wait for everybody else to do this. So you start with yourself, because this is what you're responsible for. And even if you don't get anybody else to do this, at least you've got yourself. As John Swat said, too many people try to straighten out other people, and they never straighten out themselves. And this is why the world is a mess. So straighten out the mess inside your own head. Clear things up inside your own head. And you will have accomplished a lot right there.